Hi everybody, welcome to JNS Farms, and uh, today I am dehydrating tomatoes, and I thought I would just kind of show you how I did that. Um, to me, dehydrating tomatoes is the easiest thing that you can dehydrate. There's no blanching uh, involved. Um, you just slice and place it on the tray and place it in the dehydrator. Um, I usually put my dehydrator about 145 or so, somewhere in that range. Um, and depending on the juiciness of the tomato and, you know, all that good stuff or the humidity of the day, um, usually six to eight hours, somewhere around there. Um, but the way I uh, determine how my tomatoes are done, the way I like them is uh, whenever I kind of lift them up off of the tray, they're crunchy and they're hard. Um, that's just the way I like them. And most of the time with these dehydrated tomatoes, what I do with them is I turn them into tomato powder and I use them in soups and just a whole bunch of different things that I make. Um, you can make tomato paste um, and all that good stuff. So anyway, there's a lot of uses for dehydrated tomatoes. Um, and it's super simple. Um, I just cut the little end off there and then I core the tomato. And then I just kind of slice them. I try to make them all about the same uh, size. They don't have to be perfect, uh, but I do try. Um, and I also have a dehydrating video um, on how I make my tomato powder. So you can go check that out. It's on the playlists. Um, if you want to know how I do that, it's pretty simple. It's a lot like how I make my onion powder. I just um, put it in there and turn on the blender. So anyway um our tomatoes in our garden are really prolific right now i've got a whole bunch of um of tomatoes coming out of the garden um, and then i also did go up to the amish last week and they had some of their tomatoes since the tomatoes are in season um they're canners uh they were 25 pound boxes um we're going for about four dollars at the auction four dollars a box so anyway um, yeah, so if you wanted to maybe, if you have any Amish locally in the area, in your area, and if they have an auction, um, that's a good place to pick up uh, extra tomatoes. Um, I did pick up uh, a few boxes from there when I went, so I have lots and lots of tomatoes. I have been very busy uh, doing a lot of canning. I've made uh, my homemade sauce that I use uh, for lots of things and then um, I've been making salsa which I think Brian's eating the salsa as fast as I can make it uh, this is his favorite time of year he loves salsa season um, and I've also been making some chili uh, that's what I'm doing today um, I'm kind of putting these in the dehydrator between batches so anyway um, uh, let's see here I told you I like them crunchy when they're done. Um, I think I kind of touched on everything I wanted to say. So um, it's super simple, super easy. Um, like I said, tomatoes are one of the easier things to dehydrate. And um, I just kind of get them all on here. It's okay if they're touching because they will shrink up a little bit. I leave the skins on. You are more than welcome to take the skins off. Um, it's just personal preference. So... And then these little slices like this, I'll just kind of shove them in a corner where there's not a lot of space left. So anyway, so yeah, that's how I do my tomatoes, how, how I dehydrate them. You guys have a good day and take care. Bye. Okay, so I wanted to show you real quick uh, what they look like when they're all done. This is another batch uh, that I have done. But um, I do take these and I put them in the vacuum sealer bags once I get uh, all of them done. There you go. That's what they look like when they're done. And um, they smell really good. They're crunchy. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's what they look like when they're all done. And uh, sometimes I will take a batch and um, I will put salt on them 
and Brian will eat these as just like um, chips. Um, whenever I do that, I make sure that I peel them first. I'll take that peel off, but if you're making tomato powder, which is what I'm going to do with these, it doesn't matter. You can leave the, the peel on. But uh, if I make the tomato chips, uh, I just blanch the outside, peel the skin, slice them, and then sprinkle a little bit of salt on them, and he eats those like chips. So Anyway, I just wanted to show you, kind of give you an idea what they look like when they're all done. So anyway, there you go. Bye for real this time, guys. <laughs>